Hi, my name is Teresa, and I will be your guide in the third video. I hope that you enjoy what we have to share with you. These are the issues that we will develop during this video. Accessibility and its importance in today's society. Challenges, the digital divide and accessibility gap. What is accessibility? Types and importance of accessibility. Best practices for digital accessibility. Web accessibility. Cognitive accessibility in W3C standards. Passions. Everyone should have a passion. I love fashion. I like to dress nice. I love books. I love sewing. Uh, what I'm passionate about is that everything should work for everybody. I'm currently working as a mathematics teacher in a school for the blind. I was a social worker years ago, and because of my hearing loss, I could not do my job anymore, and I loved my job. I have so poorly, and I am a and I am at all the features. The advancement of technology has really been helpful to me. Now I use my phone for going online almost exclusively. If there was an accessibility, I wouldn't be here. I'm using my phone to read what you're saying. I have an app. In my hand, I can hold a device that keeps me connected to the world. And the only question is, how do I access it? <laughs> Everyone else is looking at their smart devices, you know, and I have to listen to it. I need a consistent environment. I don't need something that's cute. I'm not here for cute. I'm here for efficiency. The machine is making things easier for me. If it makes things harder, it goes in the bay. This should be something for someone like me, where I could have an insight of what's trending and get to know what goes with my body type, what goes with my skin color. Each of us have our own needs. We're all on a spectrum. And on that spectrum, all we need are the right tools to be able to gain access to, to what we need. All of this technology has been absolutely life-changing for me and for people with hearing loss. Accessibility, to me, is like the air. It has to be there all the time. Not only does the availability of media and technology bring people all over the globe together, but it also assures that no one will be left behind in this age of digital advancement. They are the foundation of inclusion because they make information, communication, and entertainment accessible to everyone, regardless of the person's physical or cognitive capabilities. The film offers an all-encompassing perspective on the significance of accessibility, which we can now appreciate more fully as a result. It emphasizes the ways in which ideas for universal design may make media and technology an empowering tool for everyone, including individuals with disabilities. Through the use of essential information on ICT, daily contact with technology, and access to information linked to it, we are taken to a new and different level of understanding as the world around us changes. We always ensure that our technological services and technologies are up to date. These methodologies and approaches can contribute to the development of thinking skills, stimulate creativity, and enable the personalization and individualization of the pace of learning for all. In some settings, it is an essential component of the interaction between teaching and learning. The Digital Divide and Accessibility Gap An estimated 186 million children with disabilities worldwide have not completed their primary school education. Thus, children with disabilities make up the world's largest and most disadvantaged minority regarding education, from a report of UNICEF 2021. ICT is usually referred that promotes integration and inclusion, but it can. Digital divide and how it disproportionately affects individuals with disabilities, limiting their access to information, communication, and opportunities. Accessibility gap exists when technology, and digital content are not designed to cater to the needs of people with disabilities. The WSIS recommends that ICT be used for all students in all education, training, and human stages. The internet, particularly the World Wide Web, WWW, can be a powerful tool for improving inclusivity and equal access to information and services for all people. 
One of the most important characteristics of a website is to give access to all. The websites and web applications must be designed with accessibility and follow all the guidelines. That way, they can provide equal opportunities for people with disabilities to access and interact in the www. We can define accessibility as designing products, services, and environments everyone can use, regardless of their abilities or disabilities. Accessibility extends beyond physical disabilities to cognitive, sensory, and technological barriers. The accessibility concepts can be grouped into the following categories. Physical accessibility makes spaces, buildings, and transportation accessible to individuals with mobility challenges. Visual accessibility discuss measures to enhance access to information for people with visual impairments, such as braille, large print, and screen readers. Auditory accessibility address strategies for accommodating individuals with hearing impairments, including closed captions and assistive listening devices. Cognitive accessibility highlight the importance of creating content and interfaces that are easy to understand and navigate for individuals with cognitive disabilities. Why is it essential to promote content and tools with accessibility? We could continue to enumerate more critical aspects. Social inclusion, accessibility promotes equal participation and inclusion of all individuals in society, regardless of their abilities. Legal and ethical obligations, Several laws and regulations require accessibility, such as the Americans with Disabilities Act ADA, in the United States, the same happens in other countries. Economic benefits, accessible products and services, including expanding customer bases and tapping into the purchasing power of individuals with disabilities. We can improve accessibility in web accessibility, Define the rules of creating websites and digital content accessible to individuals with disabilities, covering aspects like proper heading structure, alternative text for images, and keyboard accessibility. Mobile applications. Address the need for accessible mobile applications, including considerations such as appropriate color contrast, resizable text, and touch targets. Document accessibility. Provide tips for creating accessible documents, including using proper heading styles, descriptive links, and alt text for images. Nowadays, the web has a transformative impact on our lives, we can refer to some of these transformations. Give access to information, the internet has a wealth of accessible information for persons with impairments. Blind people can read text through screen readers, braille displays, and text-to-speech software. Captioned videos, audio descriptions, and transcripts help hearing impaired people enjoy multimedia. Communication and social interaction, the WWW has changed how individuals socialize, including disabled persons. Each person uses multiple platforms to communicate, thanks to the WWW. Social media, email, video conferencing, and instant messaging have improved communication for speech, hearing, and mobility impaired people. It lets them talk and make friends. Education and employment. The internet has expanded disability-related education and employment opportunities. Online learning platforms, educational resources, and remote jobs increase access and flexibility. Disabled people can study, learn new skills, and find work in previously difficult ways. Independent living and access to services. Disabled people can use the internet to find independent living resources. They can shop, bank, schedule, and use government services from home. Convenience and accessibility enable independent living and social participation. Assistive technologies and web accessibility. Web technologies have improved assistive technologies. Developers can design apps and tools that integrate seamlessly with assistive devices enabling disabled people to use these technologies for independence. Web accessibility aims to ensure that people with various disabilities, including physical, sensory, cognitive, and neurological disabilities, can perceive, understand, navigate, and interact with digital content effectively. Video captions. Providing captions for videos allows individuals with hearing impairments to understand the audio content. Captions are also beneficial in loud environments where audio cannot be used. 
Contrast and color choices. Using sufficient contrast between foreground and background colors makes content more accessible to people with low vision or contrast sensitivity. It helps improve readability and navigation. Voice recognition. This technology allows people with physical disabilities to interact with websites and applications using voice commands, making it easier for them to access information and perform tasks. Here are some critical aspects of web accessibility and how they benefit different groups of people. Voice recognition. Implementing voice recognition technology allows people with physical disabilities to interact with websites and applications using voice commands, making it easier for them to access information and perform tasks. Text-to-speech. Including text-to-speech functionality benefits individuals who are blind or have visual impairments and those with dyslexia or difficulty reading text. It enables the content to be read aloud by assistive technology. Clear layout and design. Structuring websites with clear headings, navigation bars, and consistent styling enhances the user experience. It benefits individuals with visual, cognitive, and learning disabilities who rely on clarity and consistency for easy navigation. Here are more key aspects of web accessibility and how they benefit different groups of people. Notifications and feedback. Providing clear notifications and feedback helps users understand system responses and any errors that may occur. This is essential for users with cognitive and learning disabilities who require straightforward instructions. Large links and controls. Designing larger clickable areas, buttons, and controls makes it easier for people with reduced dexterity or mobility challenges to interact with websites using touch or keyboard navigation. Customizable text, allowing users to customize text size, spacing, font, and colors without losing functionality benefits individuals with low vision and dyslexia. It provides personalized readability options. More aspects of web accessibility. Understandable content, using clear and straightforward language, proper structuring, headings, and lists ensures the content is understandable to a broader audience including non-native speakers and people with cognitive disabilities. Keyboard compatibility. Ensuring websites and applications can be navigated using a keyboard is essential for individuals who rely on keyboard navigation due to motor impairments or other reasons. Web accessibility is not just about catering to specific groups. It benefits everyone. Implementing web accessibility principles creates a more inclusive and user-friendly digital environment, allowing more individuals to access and interact with online content comfortably and efficiently. WCAG includes requirements. These requirements, called success criteria, are in these and other guidelines. Guideline 1.3 Adaptable. Create content that can be presented differently, a simpler layout without losing info or structure. Guideline 1.4 Distinguishable. Make it easier for users to see and hear content, including separating foreground from background. Guideline 2.2 Enough time. Give users enough time to read and use the content. Guideline 2.4 Navigable. Provide ways to help users navigate, find content, and determine where they are. Guideline 3.1 Readable. Make text content readable and understandable. Guideline 3.2 Predictable. Make web pages appear and operate in predictable ways. Guideline 3.3 Input Assistance. Help users avoid and correct mistakes. Perspectives. Video captions. Video isn't just about pictures, it's also about sound. Without the audio, you'd have to guess what this film is about. Frustrating, isn't it? not knowing what's going on. That's the situation for everyone who can't hear. Captions make videos accessible, which is also handy for people who want to watch video in loud environments or where you need to be very, very quiet. Colors with good contrast. There's something about great design that allows it to go practically unnoticed. But it doesn't take much to make things confusing and frustrating. 
Choosing colours with poor contrast makes navigating, reading and interacting a real pain. Good design means sufficient contrast between foreground and background colours. That's not just text and images, but links, icons and buttons. If it's important enough to be seen, then it needs to be clear. And this is essential for people with low contrast sensitivity, which becomes more common as we age. With good colours, websites and applications can be easier to use in more situations. Like in different lighting conditions. Voice recognition. Imagine if you could only communicate with your family by writing. Sometimes it's just easier to speak. One of the advances of technology is voice recognition, whether it's searching the web, 19th century architecture, dictating emails, send email to Jack Hardy, or controlling your navigation app. Many people with physical disabilities rely on voice recognition to use the computer. Place order. But for that to happen, websites and apps need to be properly coded. Go. Cancel. Voice recognition can help lots no. of other people with temporary Finish. limitations too, like an injured arm. Place order. It can also prevent injuries becoming worse, like RSI, repetitive stress injury, or for people simply preferring voice. Text-to-speech. Some people can see the text on the screen. Fortunately, computers can convert text-to-speech. It's technology that many people who are blind have been relying on for years. But it's also important for many people with dyslexia and very useful for people with difficulty reading text. No as well as some people who just like to multitask. But for this to work, Websites and apps have to be properly coded, which has the added benefit of helping search engines index websites' contents better. Clear layout and design. Poor layout can be very frustrating. And the same applies to the web. Good design involves good layout, and that means a better user experience. This includes clear headings, navigation bars, and consistent styling. Any web user will get frustrated with bad layout and design. Complex layouts also make finding information difficult or impossible for people with visual disabilities. And they are confusing for people with cognitive and learning disabilities who need clarity and consistency of the presentation. Bad design also impacts anyone who isn't particularly confident around computers. Notifications and feedback. All the right gears can be put in motion. The hands can be at the exact place they need to be. But if you don't get the response that you're expecting, you'll end up wondering if there's some sort of problem. It's the same on the web. Without clear notifications and feedback, people are quickly disoriented and confused. Especially error messages which are often complex and confusing. Yet making them understandable is usually quite simple. Making websites and apps predictable and understandable makes them accessible to people with cognitive and learning disabilities. And more usable for everyone, especially for people with lower computer skills. Large links, buttons and controls. Trying to hit a small target requires lots of effort. Many websites and applications try to thread the needle. But on the web, we can make areas for clicking and tapping larger and easier to use. Which is handy on mobile devices, especially when we might be moving around at the time. Which is critical for people with reduced dexterity. Customizable text. What's right for you doesn't necessarily work for the next person. Customization isn't always just a question of preference, though. Sometimes it's a necessity. Being able to adjust the text is crucial for people with low vision and dyslexia. 
Properly coded websites and applications allow the text to be customized. For example, to change its size, spacing, font, and colors without loss of functions or clarity. Understandable content. Instead of saying, to postulate a conceit more irksome than being addressed in sesquipedalian syntax is adamantine, it is better to say, being spoken to in unnecessarily long and complicated language is a pain. Yet many websites lack structuring, using headings, lists, and separation. Or they use overly complex language, jargon, and unexplained acronyms. It makes them difficult and unappealing to use for many people, including non-native speakers, and makes them unusable for people with cognitive and learning disabilities. Keyboard compatibility. Not being able to use your computer because your mouse doesn't work is frustrating. Many people use only the keyboard to navigate websites, either through preference or circumstance. Whether it's temporarily limited mobility, a permanent physical disability, or simply a broken mouse, the result is the same. Websites and apps need to be operable by keyboard. Web accessibility, essential for some, useful for all. Visit w3.org slash wai slash perspectives. Making content usable for people with cognitive and learning disabilities. Making websites and applications usable by people with cognitive and learning disabilities affects every part of design and development. Traditionally, accessibility focused on making the interface usable for people with sensory and physical impairments, vision, hearing, or mobility. Some accessibility features will help people with cognitive and learning disabilities. Often, the issues that affect people with cognitive and learning disabilities include design, context, structure, language, usability, and other things that are hard to include in general guidelines. Help users understand what things are and how to use them. Use icons, symbols, terms, and design patterns familiar to users so they do not have to learn new ones. People with cognitive and learning disabilities often need common behavior and design patterns. For example, use the standard hyperlink convention, underlined and blue for unvisited, purple for visited. Help users find what they need. Use a clear and easy to follow layout with visual cues, such as icons. Clear headings, boundaries, and regions also help people understand the page design. This includes easy words, short sentences and blocks of text, clear images, and easy to understand video. A good design makes errors less likely. Ask the user only for what you need. When errors occur, make it easy for the user to correct them. Keep users focused. Headings and breadcrumbs can assist a distracted user in regaining context. Linking breadcrumbs helps users undo mistakes. Memory barriers prevent cognitively disabled persons from using content. This includes long login passwords and voice menus that require remembering a number or keyword. Make it easier for those who need it. This includes making human help easy. If users can't submit feedback, you won't know if they can use the content or have issues. Allow multiple interpretations. Graphics, summaries of long publications, icons on headings and links, and number alternatives are examples of added help and support. Add-ons and extensions assist people with cognitive and learning difficulties. Personalization lets users choose their favorite settings for extra support. Never disable add-ons and extensions. Access for all on the World Wide Web. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons, CRPD, with impairments acknowledges the significance of accessible information and communication technologies, such as the Internet, in fostering equitable access and opportunities for individuals with impairments. By making accessibility a top priority, we can continue to close the digital divide and ensure that the revolutionary promise of the web is realized for all users, regardless of their skills.
Accessibility entails creating web content and apps for people with disabilities and assistive technologies. Screen readers can describe pictures to blind or disabled people using alternate text. Semantic markup and content organization enable cognitively disabled persons to explore and grasp information. Accessibility aids disabled people and other users. Video captions help non-native speakers, deaf people, and those in noisy situations. Clear navigation helps users find information quickly. You can look for more details in the Erasmus Plus project, developing a higher education curriculum in set teaching for the health protection and promotion of intellectually disabled individuals, located on the website www.projected.com. It was an absolute pleasure to share with you this half-hour time a regards from Teresa.